Hello everyone, this is Vrishali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In previous session, we discussed about all the network types, topologies and architecture. We also discussed about OSI model, TCP IP model with examples. I have mentioned a complete computer network subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the next topic that is error detection and correction methods. Let's start the session. At the end of the session, you should learn about all the error detection and correction methods like parity bits, checksums and CRC with example. At the end, we will discuss some question bank that will be helpful for your examination. Now, the first point is what exactly error detection and correction. See, in network, sender send a particular information to the receiver. This information is in binary format like 0101 format. Sometimes what happen? Receiver didn't get the actual message that was sent by the sender. Suppose sender sent 1010 message but receiver received 1000. So this changing bits is called as error. Means receiver didn't get the actual message. So to find out this error is called as error detection. And to solve those error is called as error correction. Now there are total three error detection methods like parity bit, checksum and CRC. Let us discuss these methods one by one. Now, the first error detection method is parity bits. This parity bits have divided into the two types like even parity and odd parity. Let us take an example. Suppose sender send a message like 1010101 to the receiver. So, at that time, parity bit is added at the end of that message. This is an extra bit. This bit is helps to identify the errors on the receiver side. And this bit is also called as data word bit or code word. See here. In this even parity, in this message, how many ones are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. There are even number of ones. That's why the parity bit is 0. And in this message, how many ones are there? 1, 2 and 3. So in this message, odd ones are there. So at that time, parity bit is 1. So this is called as parity bit. Suppose sender send this message to the receiver. Receiver received a message and check how many ones are there according the parity bits. If there is a parity bit 0, they check once 1, 2, 3, 4. Means correct message is received by the receiver. There is no any error. And on the another side in our parity, when receiver received this message, they check parity bits. It is 1 means there are odd number of ones are present. If there are odd number of ones are there, means receiver received an actual message. There is no any error. So this is called as parity bit, which helps to identify errors or error bits in particular message. Now, the next method is called as checksum. So checksum is advanced method than parity bits. See here. Suppose sender send a particular message to the receiver. The first subunit 1. Subunit 1 means here whatever the information is lastly sent to the receiver or previous information. Suppose sender send subunit 1 previously to that receiver. So this is a previous information. Now the next one is subunit 2. Subunit 2 means recent information. Which information sender want to send to the receiver. So basically, in checksum, sender here, checksum perform addition of previous data sent and current data sent. They perform addition of this subunit 1 and subunit 2. Now they perform addition here. I think you all know about how to perform the addition. Like 1 plus 1, 0, 1. So there is a 0 and carry 1 is there. And this 1 is printed here. 0 plus 0, 0. And 0 plus 1, 1. So in this way they perform the addition. Now after performing addition they apply the checksum. Checksum means complement of 1. Complement of 1 means they just changing the bit. Suppose in sum there is a 1, in checksum there is a 0. And in sum suppose there is a 0, there is a 1. Right? So this is called as checksum. All the 1's are converted into the 0 and all the 0 are converted into the 1. 
now this checksum is sent to the receiver here sender send previous information current information plus checksum to the receiver receiver receive those checksum perform complement of 1 means they convert all the ones to zero and all the zero to one and they check addition of first information and the current information so in this way if this particular checksum and sum is match means correct information received by the receiver there is no any error is present so this is called as checksum they perform addition of previous and current information and after that they apply checksum or complement of one method so this is called as checksum now the next method is cyclic redundancy check method which is also called as crc this crc method also useful for identifying errors have present in receiver site or not or receiver get the actual message or not for that purpose they use generator polynomial method i think you have already learned about how to calculate polynomial or how to perform addition subtraction division of these bits right so here they use polynomial functionality just take an example suppose this is a sender and this is a receiver sender want to send this information to the receiver like 100100 now along with that uh, message they use key this key is a private key by using that key they decode those message okay and same key is also at receiver side by using that key they access those information okay this is a security key or private key now in on the sender side they perform generator polynomial method see here they divide 1101 as to this particular message like your message is 100100 and after division is performed your reminder is 001 so what sender do they attach this reminder at the end of your message suppose your message is 100100 and at the end they attach this reminder clear and now this message is sent to the receiver so receiver receive those message they check out all the uh, particular reminder whatever the reminder present at the end and they also access those information through the particular key and at the end they again perform generator polynomial method at the uh, particular receiver side see here 1101 and this is your uh, message sent by the sender and they perform division here and at the end all the reminders are zero if all the reminders are zeros are present means there are no errors on the receiver side so this is called as cyclic redundancy check in this way sender send accurate information to the receiver and by decoding uh, the particular message by using a particular key so receiver received a correct information at receiver side so this is called as crc now uh, at the exam point of view there are two most important question that have asked in previous year question paper like uh, justify answers using crc for divisor like uh, 1101 div dividend by this particular message you have to solve those uh, particular query and uh, justify the answer how sender and receiver uh, accept the actual information for 6 marks and last explain parity bits and checksum with example for 6 marks so you have to prepare all these methods with particular example so this is all about error detection methods thank you keep learning